Hola clase, hoy vamos a hacer el vocabulario de capítulo 10. So today we're going to do chapter 10 vocabulary, but I'm also going to do a little bit different so you can see where we can access the book and also um, so you can have more resources, practice more activities if you choose to on your own time. So right now I'm in the learning modules on Blackboard and right at the very top I pushed on the McGraw-Hill um, you can see this link now that's above the folders and it says McGraw-Hill Connect Library. So if you click on this, it'll usually have your grade book that pops up first. Um, but normally on the left hand side, you'll be able to see ebook and other um, things on the side as well. So what I am going to do. Oh, back to Blackboard is what I'm going to do. So if you go down to week five right now, we're going to be working on our chapter 10. So I have a cheat sheet here for you so that you can fill it in. Um, so it's easier sometimes when you have something in front of you to know the words that we'll be working on all chapter as we go along. And then you can just have this in front of you when we do the rest of the assignments for the, the chapter. And so that's what we're going to start right now. So that's where you can get your cheat sheet from. So that's where I you can print it off. And so what I'm going to do is here is the book and I am going to go to the chapter 10 vocabulario which is always at the the very end of the chapter so I'm clicking on this which is page 321 so you can see it's the same words that you have I just have your um, Spanish words there and you guys are going to fill in what's cool about this resource for example let's say I'm not here to help you with pronunciation if you guys push play Los verbos. you can hear it I thought he was going to continue but he didn't Los verbos. Um, hacer alpinismo. okay so I will go over most usually it runs through all of them so alojarse is to stay in a ho to stay or to stay in a hotel bajarse to get off disfrutar to enjoy embarcar to board pactuar el equipaje to check luggage hacer alpinismo to mountain climb Hacer cola, to stand in line. Hacer una excursión, to take a tour or day trip. Hacer las maletas. Pasar por la aduana, el control de la seguridad, la inmigración. Pasear en canoa, to go canoeing. Quedarse, to stay in place. Recoger el equipaje to pick up luggage. Registrarse to check in. Revisar to inspect. Subir is to get in or to climb. So here we have el viaje, which means trip. La aduana is customs. La agencia de viajes is travel agency. El asiento de pasillo, el asiento de ventanilla is aisle or window seat. El la asistente de vuelo, vuelo is a flight attendant. El boleto is ticket. La clase económica is coach. El control de seguridad is security. El crucero is cruise ship. El destino is destination. El equipaje is luggage. El extranjero is foreigner. La llegada. La, llegada. la llegada is arrival. Remember, anytime you have a double L, you pronounce it like a Y. La maleta is suitcase. El la maletero. El maletín is a carry-on. El mostrador is a counter. El pasajero is passenger. La primera clase is first class. El reclamo de equipaje is baggage claim. La sala de espera is waiting room. La salida is departure gate. La tarjeta de embarque is boarding pass. El viaje is trip. El visado is visa. El vuelo is flight. De viaje on a trip. So, 
cognados también are in here too. Cognates, which aren't on your list, but cognates are words that look the same and are spelled similarly and have the same meaning in English. For example, el pasaporte looks like passport, so you could derive that most likely this word means passport. Okay, de vacaciones, on vacation. El alojamiento, lodging. El botones, bellhop. La cabana, rustic cabin. La estadia, stay. La excursión is a tour. La habitación doble is a double, or sencilla is a single room. El huésped, hotel guest. El recorrido, tour. El recuerdo, souvenir. Las ruinas arqueológicas, archaeological ruins. La ruta, route. La tarjeta postal is postcard. De lujo, luxury. So like un hotel de lujo, a luxury hotel. And so that is all of our vocabulario for this chapter. And you can find all of it on page 321. So now what you guys are going to do for week number five is also do the chapter 10 vocabulary quiz. So if you click on this, um, you're going to see all of these words that you just worked on. And so it'll be really useful for you to have that sheet in front of you. And then there's just a couple of other assignments as well. So por ejemplo, just waiting for it to load. It's going to say a word in English and you have to give the, the Spanish definition. And then there's some other assignments in here as well that you need to do. And of course you get three opportunities. So for this one, what's going to happen is for, for number 10, it says, per cada palabra, for each word, indica la categoría correcta, indicate the correct co category. Una persona, with a P, un artículo para viajar, is A, or un lugar. Ojo, una palabra puede referirse a más de una cosa. So also pay attention to the fact that a word can refer to more than one thing. So for example, el destino is the first one. So the answer would be el, un lugar. A lugar means place in Spanish. El extranjero means foreigner. So that means probably una persona. So you would put P and L, right? Lugar, it could be a foreign place as well, extranjero. El mostrador is a counter, like at the airport. So it wouldn't be P, persona, or via har A. It would be L, lugar, right? So you have this assignment as well, along with a couple of others. So remember, if you don't get it right the first time, that's okay. That's why I allow three different attempts. Also, you must see and hear a word seven times before your brain starts to comprehend it, and that makes a huge difference. And so, again, you have to put those ones in order. So it's not too complicated, but definitely having your lista de vocabulario en frente de usted is going to be um, make a huge difference as well. So then you just have, um, you have to push play, and you'll listen to the sentence, and then indicate the correspondent, most logical correspondence. If you have any preguntas, déjame saber. Please let me know. Contact me via email. Um, que tenga buen día. I hope you have a great day. Y nos vemos pronto. Chao.